Are you looking to learn or develop power apps and want a free power platform environment with support for premium custom connectors, Dataverse and other developer environments? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, helping you become more productive online and offline and I work as part of our customer success strategy team here at Microsoft. So today I want to talk about the Power Platform Developer Plan, which is a completely free plan with all of the great parts of the Power Platform that lots of people don't necessarily have in their organisations. Now you can sign up to it with any organisational account, but I quite often see people online saying that they don't want to or they can't use their own uh, work account to sign up for the developer plan. So I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to set up a Microsoft 365 developer account and the Power Platform developer plan so that you can make the most of this. So here I am here uh, in my browser. So I just want to show you what we're talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Power Platform developer plan and I'm going to scroll down here you can see it says powerapps.microsoft.com and this is the developer plan. If I click get started free then straight off the top it says here enter your work or school email address so again if you don't if you don't you want to use your work email address or your school email address or you can't um, you're not able to put that a consumer account in there uh, let me just show you what that looks like so i'm going to browse as a guest here i'm going to set up a brand new outlook account so i'm going to go to outlook.com and i'm going to create a free account here down the bottom and I'm going to call it Stuart, Stuart Prod Coach at Outlook.com. Click next and just pop in a password here. Okay, I don't want any information. That's it. Just pop my name in and we're nearly done. Okay, and click next. So there we go. So I've got a brand new Outlook account here um, and just give that a second to load but this is not a full Microsoft 365 account this is an Outlook account or a consumer account or um, or things like this the same you might be if you had um, an Xbox account and things like this now again if I look here and go to power platform developer plan and go to that powerapps.microsoft.com link if I click get started for free and I pop in that email that I just set up then uh, I will come up uh, with an error so do next and it says here it this looks like a personal email address enter your work address so we can connect with others in your company uh, <clears throat> so that's not going to work for me here so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sign up for a Microsoft 365 or an M365 developer program account okay this is a completely free um, E5 uh, Microsoft 365 developer tenant which is there for people to develop um, M365 apps so here I'm, I've gone into it it's already recognized that I've logged in with a consumer account so that's fine because it needs to associate it with something so I'm going to say where I am so I'm in the United Kingdom here we go and my company so I'm going to call myself the productivity coach company and the language is going to be English I'm going to accept the terms and conditions I would encourage you just to look at those uh, because there's some very specific usages uh, on the developer program and 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 when they renew it and things like this you can't run a business on this this is purely for you to develop um, and, and test apps and things like this um, and if you want information tips you can check that box there Okay, so what's your primary focus? So mine is going to be for personal projects. So I do next here, and then which technologies we're going to be looking at. So we're going to do Teams, Power Platform, and a bit of Microsoft Graph as well. And I click Save. <clears throat> so now you can see it's asking me what kind of sandbox do I want. So you can have an instant sandbox, which is all pre-configured. It's got all of the users, a whole load of data and, and things like this. And it tells you everything that's included here. Um, this is a, the, probably the best way to get started here. Um, if you really need to configure your own from scratch, you can do that. But it takes longer to provision. You can see here it takes up to two days to provision. And you need to manually add all the data in. So go with the instant sandbox. It'll be ready straight away. Um, super easy so I do next then I need to pick which region I'm in so I'm in Europe my admin username 
So I'm going to go with Stuart Prod Coach again, and then your admin password. So let's just pop that in there. And you can see here that it's quite strict, so it needs to be between 15 and 20 characters. It's got uppercase, lowercase, numbers, symbols, that kind of thing. So let's just pop a password in there. There we go, and I'm going to confirm it. Now it's going to create a whole load of users as well, so it will use that password for those users. If you want a different one, you can check that box and put it in there. Um, for me, I'm just not going to bother. I'm going to click continue. And then I need to associate my developer account with um, a mobile phone. That The reason being you can only have one, uh, one developer account uh, per person. So you can't have multiple developer accounts on a mobile phone number. So I've gone through all of that and you can see here, here is my developer subscription. It's a 90 day rolling subscription. So as long as you keep on using it, then they renew it after the 90 days. I can click go to subscription here um, and you can see, um, how that works so let me just log in here with my password that i just set okay and click sign in okay i'm going to skip this but you do need to secure your account um so that you you know don't lose access to your account etc and oh just let's go through the onboarding experience so this is a fully fledged microsoft 365 uh, tenancy you just can't use it for business purposes here so if you can click here, you can see that I've got everything here. I've got the admin panel here. Um, so this is what administrators in any Microsoft tenant can get to here. Um, and let me just click got it over here. And if I click over on the menu, I've got things like users, teams and groups. If I go to active users, I can see that it's already pre-filled people like Adele, Megan, Nesta, Miriam, all of those people that we see all the time in demos. Um, and we can reset their individual passwords or whatever. Um, and then I can see I've got my account here and it's got my username that I added at, and then it's got a random number dot on Microsoft.com. And that's what I'm going to need to set up my Power Platform developer account. So back here again, I'm going to look for a Power Platform developer account. Uh, okay. And if I scroll down here, it is the Power Apps developer plan. Okay. Make sure you're on that powerapps.microsoft.com site. Get started free. And this time I'm going to pop in that email address. So because this is a work or school email address, it should work. Okay, it says, looks like you're already a Microsoft customer. Sign in. So I'm already signed in, so I haven't needed to pop my password in there. Again, I need to pop my phone number in there so that it's associated with um, a phone account. Um, this doesn't matter that it's the same as your M365 one. You just can't have multiple M365 accounts on multiple Power Apps for developer plans. Okay, <clears throat> so there you go. And I click Get Started. Now, then it needs to configure the licenses. This could take uh, two, three, four minutes. Depends on how busy the service is. Um, but here you can see now I'm in the Power Apps Maker Portal. Um, we don't need to pop in our contact information here. Okay. Um, and we'll go through the onboarding experience. Loads of great information here. We'll click on learn more and it takes you up to some great resources here. But you can see there's a gray bar here. It says this is a developer environment that's not meant for production use. Again, I would click on learn more, encourage you to do that to see what the restrictions are. It, this is great because it's got all of the it's got all of the premium stuff, all the connectors, um, all of those things that don't necessarily have the restrictions that you might have within an organization. So it's a great way for you to be able to test this uh, and really push it to its absolute limits as well as learning everything. So if I click upon environments, you can see here I've got Stuart Ridhouse environment. This is my developer environment. And then I've got my normal default environment here um, for my demo tenant. So this might be very similar to your one, it might be restricted, it doesn't have premium, etc. So make sure that you're working in that uh, developer environment, make sure that gray bars at the top here, but you know, you can go through, you can set up dataverse tables, you can do apps, you can do model driven, canvas apps, uh, all of those great things that you might not be able to do in your organization. So hopefully you found that really, really useful in terms of uh, how you can set that up using your own personal account. There are a whole load of reasons why somebody might not want to or can't use their uh, their work account for that. Um, it could be that they're learning something um, 
just personally, you know, for their own professional development, or they're looking for a, a new job or a new role or something outside of the company. So they want to learn in a separate way. Um, so things don't get muddled up with their work out or they don't lose access if they change company. And speaking of looking for new roles, um, if you're looking for a role and you struggle with those interview questions, those situational uh, interview questions, the kind of ones where somebody says, oh, tell me about a time when, um, we've just released a printable guide which helps you to prepare for those, um, sharing 50 common situational interview questions um, to help you prepare for and nail that interview. It's only a few pounds, really easy to get. You can get it straight away, um, print it out, write on it, you know, use it wherever you want to use it um, to help you prepare for those interviews. It's got tips, it's got an example in there and things like this. So if you're interested in that at all, it's called Tell Me About A Time When and you can get it by going to productivitycoachcompany.com. Otherwise, I will see you again on another video.